that guy. Door dash bag. So man, this is just a, just a relaxing place to do that. The first time I came to this park was somewhere around 2014, 15, probably 15. It's right after I quit my first job out of college. And I went to the West Coast to get a little break. Came to the day, was wandering around. Stumbled upon this park. It's chilling right over there. I remember correctly and yeah I'm just chilling for a couple of hours took time to gather my thoughts started my first blog post writing it at this park on the website so that was pretty cool yeah I guess that sums it up this, this is the first place this kind of set set off the blog uh, the blog which is cool to look back on now because that was like four or five years ago something like that but yeah, overall good vibes. Everybody's chill, chilling. You're chilling. Everybody's to themselves, enjoying Mother Nature. Nothing bad going on. Everybody's just relaxing. So that's why I wanted to come back. about you know that interview process and where I'm at now. My goodness, so many strides. Not only with the hard skills but with the soft skills too. You know, people skills are really developed, you know, being in Google courses, you to interact with other people. Um, not in a good way, but I mean in a in a good way is what I'm saying. Different events that they put on that just force interaction. Yeah. Help you get close and get to a better know the people that you're working with. So all around been great so far. <laughs> Good question. Uh, about two and a half weeks ago, I went to the barber. The barber that I don't usually go to, but you know, last minute I needed to get a cut, so I said whatever. Booking. What ended up happening, I went in just asking for, you know, lining up the beard. At the time I had a bushy beard, so I said just line it up, don't go too low. I guess those directions weren't received that well because I ended up taking down my beard like all the way too low. And essentially I didn't want that skinny beard on the side, so I went to another barber yesterday morning and had to fix the situation so I'm chop off the side, tape up the goatee just like back in those college days. I used to sport the goatee. And bam. So anyways, all that to say this goatee is damage control. <laughs> for a bad uh, for a bad barber experience a couple weeks prior. Turned out alright. Currently at Yerba Buena Gardens in San Francisco. The weather is amazing, sunny with a breeze. I'm wearing my Arsenal jersey as well, so I'm feeling rather chilly. 
I'm also listening to some Tupac, Troublesome, 96, and I'm laying down and relaxing. I'm doing a lot of people watching as well. Everyone is minding their own business and taking in the day in their own way. Some people are reading, some are writing, some are listening to music, some are smoking weed, but everyone is calm. I'm actually the only one with a laptop in the party. As I'm looking around right by, uh, I'm looking around right myself this very minute, not one person has a laptop with me. Which is pretty much the case now. I don't see anybody with a laptop, do you? I don't see him. Yeah. Anyways, um, I really like the Bay Area vibe. Everyone is finding their use and enjoying themselves. This is when I start to talk about the food spot, honey gilling. It may be that it may be time for me to eat soon. Earlier I went to eat at a place that quickly became my favorite spot to eat in SF. Originally pronounced Oni Gilly is the name of the place. They serve gourmet rice balls. They use brown rice and stuff it with anything from lemon crab to Cajun shrimp, which happens to be my favorite. I've, I've already been there twice in the past three days, but can't wait to go back tomorrow. Anyways, I'm going to get back to enjoying the day. I listened to a Tim Ferriss podcast episode with Robert Rodriguez. I didn't know Robert before that interview, but he said some things that stuck with me. He said that he wrote down what he did every single day. He has record of what he did every single day for over 20 years. That blows my mind. He also said some things that also, <clears throat> that he thought influenced him over the course of a couple months. Um, actually happened within a weekend. Hearing this has driven me to start writing as often as I can. Mostly about what I'm thinking about that time or what happened to me that day. I want to be able to look back on this vlog 10 years down the line to be able to read, <laughs> be able to read uh, what I was thinking about at that moment in time. I want to be able to relive that moment whenever I want. I will try to stay disciplined as possible and write something every day. That's enough for today. Until next time. August 28, 2015. Okay. 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 I'm waiting for that beat to drop. Just did. Now I don't really plan to stop. Chilling with my man to the right. His name is Smith. Yep, his name is Smith. First name Carlisle. Since we linked up, yo, it's been a little while. Doing right now, we chilling outside, we just catching the vibe. Pretty dope ass beat, yo, we ride. Been riding through the city all day, but we been on foot, cause you know we don't play. That's really the only way to get connected with the people. We did this at Yo Yo, but this is the sequel. Damn, yo. after this game. So I've got a chance to redeem myself. I look forward to doing that. I don't want to say anything more until the next game happens. It's hard to compare. This is a gym within a, you know, working complex. It's not like it's an LA Fitness or an Export or any other public gym, so. The pool of people in which you can play against is a lot smaller, which makes sense that it's, you have less competition. That said, I just took two L's, so. <sighs> I 
guess it's good enough for me at this moment in time. Man. 12 hours maximum, you're a little upset. After that, you forget about it. But in this moment, it's fresh. Within one hour of losing, so I'm a little upset. A little gassed out there. A few people controlling the ball a little more than they should on my team, but looking beyond that, I could have played better. So. Put that one on me. Ask more questions. Don't be afraid to reach out to the leadership. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to think big even when you're just starting out. Thinking big is what separates you and move you from level to level. So, natural to think small in your day-to-day -day work, but is it the easiest thing to implement a small change, but thinking big is going to separate you, so try to do that as early as possible. Alright, let's cross the street.